Yes, yes, you can get 90% and above in grade 12 physical science. No matter what you think, no matter if you think physical science is that, no matter if you think physical science is too much work for you, if you keep giving yourself excuses in life, you're gonna be a failure. It is not about who you are, it is about who you want to become. You may think there is a magic or a shortcut to getting 90% and above in physical science. Let me tell you, there is no magic or shortcut, but there is something called a habit. It takes about 20 days to build a habit. So if you think only smart students are the ones that can get a distinction in physical science, let me tell you that you are completely wrong. I know what I'm talking about. In this video, I'm going to share with you a list of seven things that every student needs to do if they are looking to get 90% and above in physical science. Let me tell you that number seven is the biggest study tip that you just can't leave out if you are really looking to score 90% and above in grade 12 physical science. So please stay until the end of this video to find out. So let's get into the seven study tips. Number one is to always attend your classes. And when in class, you must pay attention to what your teacher is teaching. And you must always ask questions when you don't understand something. By asking questions, it gives you the privilege to be aware of what you know or don't know. And so you can fill in the knowledge gaps. Number two, study consistently. When studying, do your best to reduce all distractions in your study area, like putting your phone on silent, refraining from using Facebook or WhatsApp. Try to reduce all sorts of distractions you can think of. And you also need to figure out what time and place you best able to study. It may be in the morning or during the day or at night or in your room or in a library. If you can figure out the time and place you best able to study, it will be easier for you to enter a flow state. What is a flow state? A flow state is when someone is completely involved in a task that nothing else around them seems to matter. In this state, the person can stay 100% focused for hours on a task at end that they completely lose track of time and forget about the world around them. If you're gonna be a top student in physical science, you're gonna have to do a little bit of study every day. And by the time the exam or text come around, you'll barely need to study for your text or exam. Number three, do your homework and assignment. Homework is an opportunity for a student to review their class material. And by doing your assignment, you can learn, practice, and can demonstrate that you understand your class material. Because when your teacher marks your homework and assignment, you get feedback. And you can see from the feedback what needs to be improved next time. Number four is to get yourself the right study material. I believe there are countless of great textbooks great workbook and great study guide that you can lay your hands on but if you want my help on this i will suggest you get physical science grade 12 solution for all the answer series physical science grade 12 there are also free study guide and free textbook like mind the gap physical science physic mind the gap physical science chemistry and physical science textbook by siavula that you can get on the internet for free. I have provided links where you can download them in the video description. Number five, learn from top students in physical science. This is life changing when you start modeling what the top students do. If these students can score 90% and above in physical science, then what's stopping you from doing the same? Is it that they have a higher IQ or they are just smart? It has nothing to do with AI IQ or them being smart. Let me tell you, there are things that these students do differently that the rest of students do not do. If you want to get a distinction, you need to model top students. You need to talk to them. You need to watch how they study and how long they study. You need to observe them. But what if you don't really know any student that is a high performing student. That is when you can take advantage of all this amazing technology that we have around us. 
you have books written by successful people you have youtube videos by successful students you have youtube videos teaching your subject and podcast by successful people to help you understand successful people in different fields that you may be interested in so make sure you subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell because we will be posting math and science video study tips videos motivational videos and many more number six go for extra classes in physical science extra classes help you improve understanding of the content during extra classes you have the opportunity to practice what you learned in class remember practice makes perfect people become better at something if they do it often and lastly number seven this is the biggest study tip that the vast majority of grade 12 students take for granted number seven study tip is you need to solve as many questions as possible from past exam papers do past exam papers from provinces and the national past exam papers any past exam papers that you can find please use it so whenever your teacher is busy on a topic go through past exam papers and solve questions on that specific topic my advice is to always start solving past exam papers from recent years and backward to other years the number of past exam papers you can do will determine how well you will do in the exam so this is a predictor it is a tool to measure how well you will do in the exam if you ask me the number of past exam papers you need to do in order to score 90 percent and above my recommendation is to do at least 80 past exam papers you may think this is too much work but think about how much that distinction means to you do you really want to do it so you need to pay the price if you want that distinction again remember there is no magic or shortcut to success it is all about cultivating a habit so solve as many past exam papers as possible links to past exam papers that you can download are provided in the video description please check them all right guys that's all for this video if you like this video don't forget to like it and comment in the comment section remember to subscribe and activate the notification bell so that you know when new videos are released until next time i will talk to you soon